Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a Ubuntu desktop on Ubuntu server so you can have a graphical interface. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So you're probably wondering, Nick, why do I want a graphical interface on my Ubuntu server? Well, it's just that it's a graphical interface. Like, we all know the command line is seen as the main server thing, but why not have a graphical interface? Why not use a graphical interface? Like, yeah, it's nice to have the command line if you know what you're doing, but it's also nice to have the desktop as well. So this is to get around that, to actually use the desktop whilst also still using your server uh, environment and being able to switch between the two uh, easy as pie. So the first thing we're going to do is actually install the Ubuntu desktop with the following command. sudo apt-get install hyphen y, so it's saying yes, Ubuntu desktop. Now I'm going to include a script in the description that will link to a GitHub article. We'll link to a GitHub repository that will do this all automatically for you. Uh, I was having some issues with it previously, but I've now fixed it. It'll be called UDI. I'll just stick that in the video description. Now, to those of you who actually used my previous video and downloaded the uh, Wine 7.0 script, thank you very much. I hope it's working well for you. Uh, this video was an inspiration from uh, somebody who actually reached out to me and asked for my help. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. Thank you very much. I'm always, glad to, I'm always glad to help. You can reach out to me on Discord or email, uh, carry a pigeon, smoke signal, whatever. If you need help, just give me a shout. I'm more than happily help. So when it comes to downloading and installing this, this is the only downside. This does take a while because it's downloading everything it needs to run Ubuntu desktop. Now, as we can see, it's uh, unpacking like the big stuff like Ubuntu Mono. That does take a while. So... This will take a while, no matter what you're doing, unless you're on a VPS. If you're on a virtual private server, this will just fly through, depending on your server provider, of course. Now, when it comes to doing this, adding a, you know, adding an Ubuntu desktop onto an Ubuntu server, this will not work with a virtual private server provider, unless there is like anything, unless there's a HDMI or VGA or DVI, or unless there is a dummy plug plugged into the server. Because of how this is, because of how this works, it will just chuck an error and say, hey, look, I can't work because I don't have a graphics output connected. Now, I've tried this. I've also had the person who reached out to me and asked for help with the previous thing I was doing, with the previous video, the Wine 7.0 video reached out and said, hey, look, I'm having issues with this. Can I have some help? It turns out the reason why this isn't working, or why, why it doesn't work with VPS, is because the system detects you don't actually have a graphics out. So it goes, I don't have a graphics. What are you trying to do, mate? Like, this won't work. So if you're running on a VPS, it's not going to work, unless there is a dummy HDMI plug plugged in. Now, you can get dummy HDMI plugs. They're relatively cheap for what they do. And basically all it does is just tricks the system into thinking, oh, there is a monitor plugged in. I can do this. And then we'll output, no bother. So if you wanted to try that, you could try and talk to, to talk to your VPS provider and say, hey, look, can you plug a dummy plug into uh, HDMI or DVI or VGA or whatever to just so I can get a uh, output via VPS? Now, server providers can also just give you access to a graphics card as well. I can just portion off some part of a graphics card, and it's not unheard of, it's very much possible. But in the case that they don't, you can just say, oh, hey, look, is there any way to work around this? Or just, here, can I send a dummy plug to you, and you just chuck it into my VPS, and huzzah, you have an output. We have heard of stranger things in the tech world. There are very much very stranger things. So, it is a possibility to do. Now, as we can see, this is just absolutely just flying through. It's doing everything. So, what this is doing, it is just downloading 
and installing everything that usually comes with your Ubuntu desktop. As you saw earlier on, bye bye, there was Firefox, which is nice. But what this is doing is it's downloading all of the things that usually come with the standard Ubuntu desktop. So what you will have for your server is just regular full-blown Ubuntu desktop as you would expect it to work with the ability to switch solely back over to your Ubuntu server with no bothers. Now, Ubuntu server is designed to be a server software while also running off the command line. This just adds on the ability to turn off, turn on the desktop and go, okay, well, I want to use desktop for this or that and just turn it back off again. It just works. Now, this, this won't boot automatically. This won't run automatically because you then have to tell it to start. That's the key thing. If you don't tell it to start, it's not going to run. So you don't have to worry about it sucking up extra resources or trying to get into it. You just say, hey, look, I, I want you to run. But uh, put in the command and it'll just run. It's just, it's just it just works. It is as easy as that. Now, we won't be using the usual uh, GNOME or GNOME or GNU or however you want to call the interface. Uh, we'll be using the X-Face uh, type desktop. Now, it is much lighter. People, Some people do prefer it, some people don't. It's just your taste, but in this scenario, we'll be using X-Face 4 and the X-Face 4 goodies to be able to get this done. Now, once this is done everything it needs to now this is all in real time as well so this is taking it is, it is taking its time but this was expected but once it's done all the things it needs to do uh, we will be good and golden to move on to the next step now this does take its time that is expected uh, i will like i said i will place a install script in the description that way you can just set off to run and there'll be no bother. I will make sure the script is working. I'll just buff it in the description. No bother at all. So as we can see here, this is installing LibreOffice as well, which means you get that as well, which is nice. It is just installing everything that is for the desktop. Now, it's only a couple gig. Like that's not a lot in considering that it's installing the entire desktop environment. Like it's just everything that comes with the desktop that you'd usually get with your regular Ubuntu. But it's uh, it's just it's all there. So you get the advantages of one of you of the server software being designed to run as a server, and the advantages of your desktop. So you can then test things on the desktop instead of having to have another computer to run things on. So for example, if you we're wanting to run a website on a, on on the computer to just test it you before you you know make it live to the internet and you want to just test it on the local machine you can you just start up the desktop and go okay input set ip address run the desktop huzzah everything's working fine i didn't know about this until recently until a couple of days ago which would have made my life so much easier when i figured when i started using this when I started using Ubuntu server. So instead of having to faff around with other things, it's just like, hey, look, this does a thing and I can do it all on the same machine. It's very nice. But yeah, it's just, it's a nice little tool to have. And of course, as I've said, it won't work unless you have either a monitor connected or a dummy plug plugged in. Dummy plugs are like, what, 20 bucks on Amazon. It's not really, any, it's not really. Uh, skin off your nose, it's just, problem solved no worries now for some of these uh theme stuff uh themes and icons and fonts they do take a while because there is a lot to unload and unpack this is expected as we can see there is something here that mentions vmware so not for this but it just grabs everything else here so now we just sit and wait and wait for it to complete Okay, we now resume th 3 billion years later, because, yes, uh, the next step we want to do is we want to get uh, the X-Face environment. So to do that, it's just sudo apt get install xfce4. 
and it's going to go, hey, look, can I take up this 106 megabytes? You can, you're more than welcome to take up 106 megabytes. Now, he's going to give you an option to do. Now, you can choose a, a GDM3 or LightDM. In this case, I'm just going to choose LightDM, seeing as I've already used it. I have done it in the past. It just works. I, I'm more than happy just to let this choose 106 megabytes. Windows would does is not able to perform the same. It's honestly insane. It really is. But here we go. It just works. Now, again, like I said, I will not only link, I'll not, not, not only put the commands in the description, I'll also put a script on GitHub as well. So you don't have to faff around with doing it yourself. You can just run the script. I'll also in, in, include instructions on how to run the script because you'll be receiving a shell file and then you need to make the shell file executable and I'll, I'll include all of those uh, commands and how to do that in the readme on github which you'll get when you clone it onto your uh, ubuntu now again this does take a little bit of time because it's uh, it's unpacking a lot of things like it's only 106 megabytes worth of stuff but it's unpacking a lot of small files now small files and drives don't really go together it does tend to slow things down it'd be easier if it was running doing big files because big files tend to write better and faster because it's continuous writing instead of small files which are just small and quick it's it's small but not necessarily quicker anyway so once we've done this we want to go x face goodies now this is another 30 so this is it's it's pennies in con context of drives I've, I've assigned this virtual machine 30 gig, 30 gigs it's nothing at all like you could just sneeze this away and you wouldn't even notice it so it's perfectly fine and now we're done so we're just we're just going to do a quick uh, update i have not updated this system since launching the virtual machine so there will be a massive amount of updates not that many actually less than i thought so now to get to the desktop we want to do start x enter and after doing that we now have a desktop believe it or not we actually have a desktop on ubuntu it's amazing so you might have noticed the left bar isn't here it doesn't load it i don't know why but you just hit the windows key or your windows key equivalent and it'll work so now we want to go to i don't know maybe have a look at youtube and go oh what's this here you are click that button there anyway this has been the video thank you very much for watching i'd like to thank my patrons over at patreon raining hazma and ashley for being subscribed thank you very much you guys anyway this is the end of the video don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button so i know you like this stuff hit the notification bell so you don't so you get so you don't miss out on any videos would help if i could speak anyway thank you very much this has been this video you have been amazing you have a good rest of your day goodbye